episode of Roofer Reflections, and we have John here. How did you get into the the restoration roofing side of things? I hate to use the phrase I fell into it because I feel like that's a lot of people's story. I've never owned my own roofing company. I've always worked for some really great companies. I've been blessed there. I'll say the phrase I fell into it because I had someone, both my dad was working with somebody. My dad comes from the construction background. Then he was working with somebody that had a restoration company. Then there was a gentleman in the town I lived with who would come into the local restaurant that I was a bartender at. He had a roofing company. And so I had this in my ear, like, you got to come try this. You've got the people skills for it. You've got the, you know, all all of that kind of stuff going on. So I, I took the leap uh, and I say leap. I took it part time first because I realized I could sell when I wasn't doing one thing. And that's the beauty of the roofing industry. You can go sell it at, at that time at that leisure and then still have something steady or consistent until you're ready to make the transition. And then once once I saw just what I enjoyed about it, the service level, the customer interactions, the gratification that comes from it. It was, it's, and obviously the money too. No, it was time to make the full jump. Do you spend most of your time doing sort of, I guess, consulting? I, I see you doing speaking and seminars. How, how does that all work? On any given week, 20 to 50 percent of my time is spent on the analysis side of business there's time spent in consulting so if i have a class that week i may have a day or two for travel and class and everything or if i've got a private training session same thing a day or two for that in that in any given week i still have projects that i have uh, my hands in from a sales standpoint in my local community too so it's a very split up calendar it's a lot to balance it's given me a really good taste of a lot of what's going on in the industry because i still get to be boots on the ground uh actively inspecting and selling um and i still get to be in front of people from a class standpoint which puts me in front of a lot of people that i get to hear questions and learn and understand the emotion and feeling and what's really going on in the industry when people approach you about you know careers and possibilities within the roofing industry what do you tell them i tell them that there's an endless amount of opportunity but it, it it's a direct reflection of the effort and work that you're willing to put into it because i feel like all too many times there's a promise for opportunity without an understanding of the effort and that that is challenging for some people to really grasp a hold of and understand because we tend to be results focused instead of process focused and your results focus you hear money you hear opportunity you hear freedom you hear more free time you hear you hear all the results we as as employees or people looking for a job or looking to get into something all we're asking for upfront is typically results. Uh, I've not had a lot of engagements where people come in and say, hey, I'm looking at the roofing industry. Tell me how much time do you put into it a week? Tell me how much effort do you put in after hours? People don't go right there. They tend to want to know the results first instead of the process. And that's okay. I try to go straight to process for them, right? Yes, the results are good, but let me tell you about the process. The more you put into it, the better it is. The faster you can learn about the restoration industry. If you're going to be in insurance, learn how claims work, right? Always increase your skill because you can grow your skill endlessly. Your own motivation is your own motivation, but grow the skill part of it. Constantly be hungry. Don't just say I've sold two. Now I can sell four. Now I can do this because if you really want to see that, that treadmill motion get mo moving, right? You're going to need to constantly increase the skill. Just kind of some of the sacrifices it took and the time and the effort and just some of my own money and everything put into it. But I look at where it's at now. So again, are you willing to, to, to put in the process to ultimately see the results? Then you're yeah. in good shape.